had uh, waited on the Lord for the word, read and studied and thought, well, maybe this or maybe that. But yesterday, he gave me what he would have me to bring today. Amen. So, good, bad, or horrible, it's going to be good in the name of Jesus. The name of the message is, What Do You See Cleaning Up Your Vision? What do you see cleaning up your vision? Go to first Matthew 6. 22 and 23. Hallelujah. The light of the body is the eye. And therefore, thine eye, if therefore thine eye be single, thy whole body shall be full of light. Amen. Amen. But if thine eye be evil, thy whole body yeah. shall be full of darkness. Yeah. Now if therefore the light that is in thee be darkness, how great is that darkness. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I ask that you bring this word, Lord, to fullness, Father. Lord, you preach it through me, Father, and it'll be done in the right way, Lord Jesus. Let your spirit begin to prepare the hearts and begin to uh, plow the ground, Lord Jesus. And cause this word to take root and spring up, Lord Jesus, and bring fruit in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Amen. Now the Lord began to deal with me about your light being darkness and your light being light. Right. Now there are some people that are, are passionate, More. passionate and full of fire yeah. about things of this world, right. about things that are not of the Father. And when they're passionate that way, they have a light. But that light is not God's light. Amen. And it's full of darkness and it will bring a bad reward to them. Come on. But when you begin to let your light or your eye be straight on the Father Come and on. straight on His words and straight on His statutes and His purposes, then the light that is in you is great light and it will not only shine in your life and begin to change things in your life, but it will begin to shine out Come from on. you and people will see you become a city set on a Whoa. hill that cannot be hid. Hallelujah. Amen. What is your vision? What do you see? Hallelujah. Praise oh. the Lord. Go to... Uh, well, you don't have to go there. I'll tell you where it's at. Uh, it's Proverbs 23, 7. And all it says is, is, as a man, or as he, is what it says. But as a man thinks in his heart, yeah. <coughs> so is he. Praise the Lord. Now I've got a question for you. You have on the inside of you an image of who you are. Come on. You have on the inside of you an image of what you can do and what you can't do. I'm going to ask you, what do you see when you look inside? Do you see somebody broken? Come on. Do you see somebody that can't? Do you see somebody that is outside of the will of the Lord? Or maybe you think that you can't do everything that the Lord wants you to do. Come on. But you can begin to change that. When you begin to change the vision you have and begin to come into line with what the Holy Ghost come on. says you can do and what the Word says you can do and yeah. what the Word says you are, you can begin to change your whole life. Come on. All right. the ho your whole life will change with your vision. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Come on. When you begin to see what God says... God says you're more than a conqueror. Come on, right. God says you're a child of the king. Yeah. God says that there's nothing impossible with you. Oh. He said he gave you power over serpents Come and on. over scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. Yeah. And he can't hurt you, praise the Lord. Oh. That's, right. That's what God says about you. Yeah. But if you look on the inside of you and you begin to see a weakling, that is a lie. 
Come on. And it's against the truth of the word. Amen. But if you'll begin to meditate, yeah. and you know, and that word sometimes people don't like to hear it, but if you begin to meditate, yeah. and in Joshua, I'm getting ahead of myself. <laughs> Hallelujah. And I'll go ahead. Joshua 1, 8, 9. Go ahead and go over there. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And then I'll talk about the other that I skipped over. But what Joshua 1. Well, let's just read down into that chapter. Because I want you to see something out of it. Now, after the death of Moses the servant of the Lord, it came to pass that the Lord spake to Joshua, the son of Nun, Moses' minister, saying, Moses, my servant, is dead. Now therefore arise and go over this Jordan, thou and all this people, unto the land which I do give to them, even to the children of Israel. Every place the sole of your feet shall tread upon, that I have given you, Amen. as I said to Moses, from the wilderness in this Lebanon, even to the great river, and the river Euphrates, and all the land of the Hittites, and unto the great sea, toward the going down of the sun, shall be your coast. Amen. There shall not any man be able to stand before thee all the days of thy life. As I was with Moses, so will I be with thee. I will not fail thee, God said, and I will not forsake thee. Be strong and of a good courage. For unto this people shalt thou divide for an inheritance the land which I swear unto their fathers to give them. Only be thou strong. Hallelujah. Come on. Now the Lord tells us the same. Yeah. Be thou strong, be very courageous, that thou mayest observe to do according to all the law or his word, which Moses my ser servant commanded thee. Turn not from it to the right or to the left, that thou mayest prosper whithersoever thou goest. And it, then this is what I want you to really pay attention to. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate. Meditate. Therein, day and night, that thou may observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and thou shalt have good success. Have I not commanded thee, be strong and be of good courage? Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed, for the Lord thy God is with thee whithersoever thou goest. Now what I wanted you to see about this chapter, and the reason I read so far down, Come on. I want you to see what the Father was doing. He was building an image of who he was making Joshua on the inside of Joshua. Oh. He was showing him so that Joshua could see with the eye of his faith what God was doing. Because, and then Joshua took it up and began to meditate in the word day and night. And he made his way prosperous and he had good success. But why? If he had left it there and said, oh, that was a pretty speech, Lord. But, you know, I ain't much of nothing. Come on. I don't know if I can do this or not. Well, if he'd have just left that word there, what would have happened? Come on. God would have had to raise up somebody else. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. But he took it on the inside of himself. He believed what God said about him. Come on. And honey, he began to turn that part of the world upside down. Amen. Under the spirit and under the anointing of the Father. That's right. Hallelujah. And you can begin. To turn the world upside down. When you take the word and believe it with all your heart and begin to, to meditate it. Yeah. Now, I look this word up, meditate in the Strongs. The Strongs is okay. Yeah. And I looked it up in the Strongs. The word meditate right there. Yeah. You know, somewhere else it might mean something else, but right there. Come on. Right there it meant... To mutter to oneself. Mama. To take it in your mouth. Yeah. Now, we know Speaking faith yeah. comes by hearing. Hearing, yeah. hearing by the word, the word. Yeah. of the living God. Uh, come on. When you begin to mutter 
to yourself who Mom. you are. Now I'm not saying we think sometimes humility is declaring things that you know, oh well I'm just not that strong, I'm just not that good, I'm just not that this or that that. That's not humility. You have to know who you are and be able to declare it. Come on. To the people. God will use that and begin and that will begin to draw these things to you, honey. You Come can't on. go out and fight a devil if you never said I got power over one. Come on. Amen. Is that not right? Yeah, that's good. You can't you can't go and lay hands on the sick and see them recover if you've never seen yourself inside of yourself doing these things with the Holy Ghost working through you Ooh, and making it impossible. Amen. Can you? Hallelujah. You can't do these things that the Father would have happen every day in your life Come on. if you never see yourself being able. Yeah. Hallelujah. We've got to take the Word and get a different vision on the inside of us. You can't, you can't carry on this ministry unless you look at the vision that God gives you every once in a while. Amen. Take it out and look at it and meditate it and say, God, you said you would! And you're going to do it! And there ain't nothing going to be impossible in this place! They'll never be able to come against you as long as you keep the vision. As long as you keep that before you. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Proverbs 29, 18 says that if... Well, let's, let me look at that. Hallelujah. Proverbs 29, 18 says, Where there is no vision... Yeah. The people perish. Yeah. And he that keepeth the law happy is he. Yeah. Now if there is no vision, if there is no seeing by your eye of faith into what God has for you, honey, you'll begin to perish day by day by Come day on. by day by day. Amen. So there's nothing left. Yeah. And it's not just the individual. But... The, this is what the Lord showed me while I was talking about the light of the body is the eye. Your leaders are the eyes of the body that the Lord has gathered. So, you need to pray for your leaders. You need to pray for Brother Billy and everybody that comes in here to preach. That the Lord will keep their eye clear. Keep their eye single. So that this body stays full. Stays full of the light of God. That everybody out there can see who you are in Christ. Hallelujah. That they'll know you. Come on. Hallelujah. You know, oh, praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Okay, Joshua meditated in the Word. Let's go to Mark. 16. Let's see a few things that we should be meditating on as Christians, not just the leaders. Come on. Not just the leaders, but as Christians. <clears throat> you know what God can accomplish when He gets a whole body of people that will believe what He said? Come on. And begin to do it and begin to perform it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, hey, we ain't seen nothing. Come on. Like we'll see when there's a whole body of people Amen. believing God's word, Amen. and it doesn't have to be a big body of people. Come on. Yeah. Oh, honey, revival break out on this hand. Revival oh, break out oh, on that oh, hand. Oh, yeah. People healed and saved and delivered and, and brought into the kingdom. Hallelujah. Planted there as trees of righteousness. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. We're going to look at that. Mark chapter 16. Hallelujah. Go down to about, about verse 15, I guess. 
where Jesus has appeared to him again. It's after his resurrection. Yeah. He's come back with more instruction. Amen. And I believe that this word, some people said, well, that was the disciples. What are you? Come on. If you're following after the Father, yeah. what are you? You're a disciple of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Amen. Yeah, he's talking to his disciples. Yeah. And he said, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Come on. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. Come on. But he that believeth not shall be damned. Yeah. And these signs shall follow those who believe. Yeah. Amen. Now, isn't that something? Now, if you believe, these signs will follow you. Come on. But you've got to get it in your heart that, yes, this is for me. Yes, this is for me. This is my God talking to me. Oh, and I can perform these things with His Spirit in me, oh. with Him working through me, Amen. and nothing's impossible. Come on. Hallelujah. He that believeth that in baptized shall be saved, but he that believeth not shall be damned. And these signs shall follow them that believe in my name. Yeah. Come on. In my name. On. They shall cast out devils. Come on. They shall speak with new tongues. Yeah. They shall take up serpents, and if, if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. Amen. So then after the Lord had spoken to them, he was received up into heaven and sat on the right hand of God. Amen. And they went forth and preached everywhere the Lord. Now listen to this part. The Lord working with them. Come on. And confirming the word brought forth. Come on. With signs following. Amen. That's what I expect him to do when I stand. And bring the word. Come on. I expect him. I expect him to confirm the word with signs following. Come on. I expect him that when the people begin to take it in themselves and begin to do what's brought from the pulpit, they're going to see it in their lives. And if they don't, then they will. Come on. They will. That's all I got to say. You'll see it. But you got to change your vision. You can't go around seeing yourself defeated. You can't go around seeing yourself overcome and overwhelmed. You've got to stand up on the inside. On. Stand up spiritually. Yeah. Let the Holy Ghost bring you up and begin to see who you are in the Father. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. The Lord will anoint you yeah. to special work. And I'm not saying it's only just... He will give you an anointing for business. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. Because he, he funds His kingdom. Oh. He funds His work. And if that's what you're doing, you're in a great work. Come on. That's right. God will give you an anointing for that. If you'll believe Him and you'll begin to see yourself successful. Now, I'm, not ta I'm talking about faith. Come on. That's how faith works. Right. Yeah. Hope comes. The Lord showed me a long time ago. He gives hope. I, I went through a hopeless time one time. And I had tunnel vision. I don't know if anybody knows what that is or not. But I could not see anything but what I was having. All I could see was the heartache that was going on. The pain that was going on. And my vision was just about this big. And that's all I could see. I couldn't see any good. Yeah. But when I began to seek the Lord, He brought hope. Come on. And when hope came, it, what it did, it began to show me the vision or the pictures yeah. of Come every on. good thing that was possible oh, in the Father hallelujah. all around. Hallelujah. Now when hope came, faith, I got in the Word. Come and on. when I got in the Word, started hearing what the Word said, Faith began to rise up. And faith began to go out and wrestle that vision, that hope that oh, brought, and bring it into reality where hallelujah. I can see it, hear it, and touch it. Come on. Come on. Faith is the substance of things hoped for. Yeah. And the evidence of things not seen. Hallelujah.
Glory and that, God. but without the vision, yeah. without the vision, Come on. that hope brings, faith ain't got a thing to work with. Yeah, faith can't go out and bring into reality something that you haven't meditated and believed for Come on. in your heart. Right. You've got to learn to change your vision Amen. of your life, of your ministry, Right. into what the Holy Ghost <clears throat> tells you. All right. And you can do that. A lot of people say, nope, that's impossible. How can you control your thoughts? Right. How can you do that? It's impossible, but it's not. Go, hallelujah. Go to 2 Corinthians 10, 4 and 5. I hope y'all don't mind a lot of word. I like to prove out what the Holy Ghost shows me. Amen. In the Word. Hallelujah. If I can't prove it out, you need to throw me out. <laughs> well, you admit the truth. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 2 Corinthians 10, 4 and 5. We're going to see that changing our vision and changing what we think on is it's not an impossible thing. We can the Lord made us to where we can change. Yeah, and it don't take forever. I mean, you can decide today. You can decide in 10 seconds. Lord, I ain't going to think that way anymore. That's not pleasing to you. Come on. I'm going to think soberly, and I'm going to think what the Word says about me, and I'm beginning to put that in my mind because you are going to... Uh, He'll bring it to pass. He'll bring it to pass in your life. Come on. Amen. Okay. True. What did I say? Say Corinthians. 10, 4, and 5. Yeah. Hallelujah. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they're mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Hallelujah. Come on. Thank you, Lord. Casting down imaginations. See? Yeah. Right there. We can, in the Father, cast oh. down these imaginations and these high things that exalt their self against our knowledge of God Himself. Come on. And we can bring every thought into captivity to the <clears throat> obedience of Christ. Amen. Amen. Every thought. Yeah, right. He enabled us to do that. Right. We can cast down. Now, I'm not saying thoughts won't come that's not according to the Father or, or that's not good. They will. Right. But I heard a preacher say, one time that a bird can fly over his head but he don't have to make let him make a nest in his hair. Amen. And you don't have to stay on those thoughts Come on. that are against what you know about the Word. Amen. If the Word has told you that you're more than a conqueror Come on. and the devil comes along and whispers in your ear, yeah. you ain't nothing but a winkling. What do you think you're going to yeah. do? How are you going to handle this? Yeah. Well, who do you think you are? Well, honey, I think I'm a child of the King. Oh, yeah. I think that I can do all things through Him who strengthens me. I believe that He is on my side and He has anointed me to the Word. And I am ordained of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Hallelujah. you got to have an answer for these things. You cannot leave them in your mind. The, the devil will begin to cause you to worry. Right. Worry, 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 worry. What are we going to do this month? What are we going to do? What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Come on. You know, the best way to get rid of that is begin to mutter Come on. to yourself the word. Oh, amen. And begin over and over and over. Amen. Honey, you can't oh, keep a thought like that in your mind when your mouth is saying something different. Come on. You can't try it sometimes. You can't. It cannot stay. It cannot stay. Amen. And pretty soon, honey, you'll be full of faith because you have spoken the word. You've also heard the word. Yeah. Oh. Faith has started to come. Right. And when faith comes, it'll start to bring into reality that thing that you've prayed for, yeah. that thing that you need. Right. Oh. Hallelujah. Yeah. Taking every thought mm -hmm. into obedience. Yeah. Hallelujah. When the Word says that He'll supply all your needs according to His riches in glory by Christ Jesus, yeah. but you have another thought that says you ain't going to make it, 
Who do you think you are? What are you going to do tomorrow? Yeah. And you have that thought? Which thought are you going to believe? Which thought are you going to keep in your mind? Come on. According to what thought you keep in your mind is according to how that outcome of that whole situation is going to be. Come on. All right. Amen. You have to begin to see what God sees. Amen. You have to believe what God said. If He said He'd do it, He'll do it. Amen. There ain't nothing impossible. Amen. Hallelujah. And sometimes it seems impossible to us. Yeah. I, I remember praying one time and I said, Lord, I wanted to pray the steps. Have you ever done that? I knew what I wanted God to do. Yeah. But I wanted to pray each little step to get there. And I began to, I wore myself out. I did, I did this about all day that day. I thought I was being so spiritual, you know. <laughs> oh, boy. But I would think of one thing that he could do to get me to my goal. And I think, no, you can't do that, Lord, because this might happen, and that's not a really good thing. Let me think of something else you can do. You don't have to tell God his job. <laughs> oh, amen. And finally, he said, are you done? Yeah. I said, we're out. Come on. Yeah, I'm done, Lord. He said, it's not for you to know how Come on. or when, Come on. but all your whole job is is to believe that I will and I'll do it. Whoa, hallelujah. hallelujah. It's not for you to know oh, how. Hallelujah. It's not for you to know when. It's not for you to know all the steps. But if you'll believe Him oh, and believe that He will get you where you need to go, He will do it. Amen. He said, your whole job, yeah. that's all I require of you. Come on. Believe me. Yeah. Believe what I said. Yeah. I'll do it. Yeah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Okay. We're going to go a little bit further on. Philippians. Hallelujah. 4. 8. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Paul is, is uh, wrapping up this letter to the churches. and uh, But he gives them something right close to the end that uh, bears on what we're talking about. He said, Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, Whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of a good report, if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think on these things. Now, he wasn't saying that just to hear himself talk. Come on. Was he? Amen. He knew that once the vision of those people, what they thought on and what they... They begin to put their faith on. Yeah, yeah. He knew that when that began to change on the inside of them, Come on. it would begin to change their life. Right. That their whole life, not just their day, but their whole life would begin to go toward what they meditated on and what they thought of and what they put their faith in. Come on, all right. That's why he told them, he said, these things, these things you think on. Yeah. Don't think about, hey, what am I going to do tomorrow? Come Don't on. think about, oh, I'm so sick today. Come Don't on. think about these things. Don't meditate them. Don't mutter them to yourself. Come on. Amen. Because if you do, that also will bring right. a consequence. Amen. It will begin to bring you down further. If you don't want to go, if you don't like what you're doing, honey, listen to this. Listen to this. If you don't like the way your life's going, listen. Because the Father will change what's going on with you and in your church and in your walk with Him and in your ministry as you begin to have a vision Come on, amen. of what He would have in your life. Amen. Can't do it without a vision. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Okay, I'm not going to go there. Do I talk about it for a minute? Habakkuk 2. Two and three, he tells the prophet, if, if, if you want an exercise to help you change, because I know it took me a while before I started doing things like that automatically. 
I'd been so used to thinking the negative side of everything. Yeah. I used to have a philosophy. Oh boy. <laughs> if you think the worst about a situation and anything better happens, <laughs> then you're pleasantly surprised. Yeah. You can't be disappointed. Come on. Come on. How bad is that? Come on. Took the Lord a little while to get that out of me. Yeah. Praise the Lord. But you know what I had? What I expected. <laughs> I had the bad that I expected, that I had meditated on, that I had thought of. Come on. I hardly ever had anything good. When that, that was my philosophy. Boy, that's a rotten philosophy. Amen. You begin to expect the best from the Father. You begin to expect the good and the perfect will of God. Amen. And honey, you'll start to have it. Come on. You will have what you expect. Right. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Okay. And if you want to change it, he was talking to the prophet and he said, write the vision and make it plain yeah. that he may run that readeth it. Yeah, yeah. Amen. So, if you need something to help you begin to change your vision of yourself, of your family, of your life, of your church, of your ministry, into what God's vision is for it, mm. Come on. then go and write down Amen. what you're believing God for. Make Come sure on. you have Scripture to stand on. Make yeah. sure that you are speaking according to the Word of God right. and then begin to mutter it Come to on. yourself yeah. and mutter it to yourself and mutter it to yourself. Yeah. You know, the Lord said that He would bring to pass what you say. Come on. You'd have what you say. Absolutely. If you believe what you say. And honey, the more you say it, the more you'll believe it. Why? Because faith comes by hearing. Yeah. You did not make this a hard message. Oh. He didn't make it a hard thing for you to do. Faith comes by hearing. Right. When you begin to mutter it over and over and over and over, faith will come. And when faith comes, one day you're going to say it in faith. Oh. And how you're going to believe it in faith. And it's oh. going to come to pass in your life. Amen. Hallelujah. Exactly. Praise the Lord. Okay. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Faith comes by hearing, hearing by the word of God. We've done said that a hundred times. <laughs> but it's in Romans 10, 17, if anybody wants to look. Okay. Remember, it said earlier, we was talking about it, as a man or as he thinks in his heart, so is he. So if you will change what you think in your heart. Come on. If you will begin to go by what the Word says. Amen. And not by what your imagination Come says on. or the devil whispers yeah. or, right. whatever, or somebody else might say. You know, I've had dreams tore down by one word of somebody that I respected. Yeah. yeah. You can't do that. You've got to guard your heart. Amen. You got to guard out, out of your heart flow the issues of life. Come on. If you guard it with all diligence, mm, yeah. honey, God can do great things in your life. Amen. He can accomplish all kinds of things. Mama used to say, Well, honey, I know that the Lord can and He does do things, but I'm getting older. Yeah. And I told her, I said, Mama, He took an 80 year old man. Come on. Um, Took him over, released the children of Israel, had him lead them all through the wilderness all that time. 80 years old. And I said, when he died at 120, he climbed a mountain the day he died. Come on. All right. His eyes, they said, was still as sharp. Yeah. His strength was still as a young man. Come on. I tell you, if God wants to do something with you, it don't matter if you're 14 or 90. Come on, it don't matter. Amen. God can do it. You know what, though? Mama took hold of that. And she began to write. Mama was a songwriter. But for a few years there, she didn't write. She just didn't. She was getting older, you know, this, that, and the other. She just didn't. But honey, when she got a hold of that, she began to let the Lord deal with her like she did as a young woman. Yeah. And she, he began to give her songs in the night again. 
and songs in the morning again. And she began to write them down and record them. Hallelujah. Now see. And she was in her 70s. Come on. Oh. But she got a hold of that. Yeah. God can do what He wants to do. And Amen. He can make His perfect will be in my life. Amen. He's strong. Exactly. And He's able. Come on. Thank hallelujah. you, Father. Oh, hallelujah. Change your vision. And it'll change your life. Come on. Change your vision and it'll change your church. Yeah. Come on. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, you've got to get a hold to the vision that the Lord gave Brother Billy. And you got to get behind it, and he'll change. He'll he'll change it for the better, all the way around. He is so good. Amen. Have y'all enjoyed the word? Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for letting me be here to to preach. Thank you, Billy, for calling me, and I know you did it according to what the Lord dealt with you. I know He dealt with you. I know I was sent here. You can't hear unless somebody's sent. Unless yeah. the Father sends somebody. Yeah. I'm your sent one. Here I am. Amen. What? So you take that and begin to meditate on it. Mm. Don't let nothing steal it. Don't oh. let the devil come and try to pluck it out of your heart as soon as you're out the door. But think about it. Yeah. And meditate on it. Amen. What? And the Lord will do something great. In your life, each and every one of your life. He, his will, I've always believed this, I still believe it, with all my heart. His perfect will is more for you than you can be for yourself. Come on. Do you believe that? Right. More for you than you can be for yourself. If you're in His perfect will, yeah. Come on. Brother Billy, that is your place. You know, God has... He has plans for every one of us. Come on. All right. yeah. From before we were ever born, before we were ever here. And hey, if we are blessed enough to get straight into the perfect will of God, honey, that is going to be our fulfillment of oh. everything in life. Yeah. Come on. We're doing what we were created to do. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it so much. Before we, before I come down out of the pulpit, though, I want to call for uh, if anybody needs prayer. Amen. Come, let us pray for you. Now we just saw in the Word some of the things that we can do in the Father. Yeah. He said, "If any six of them, you lay and call for the elders of the church. Yeah. They'll anoint you with oil. Right. And the prayer of faith shall save the sick." If you've committed any sins at that time, that'll all be forgiven you. Come on. So if anybody needs prayer, come on. The Lord will show Himself to you Amen. in the same way you show yourself to Him. Amen. If you're eager for what He has for you, He'll be eager to give it to you. Amen. So y'all come.